Hello and welcome to the SK Modified. We are at Hickory today and we are jumping into qualifying. Um, still on my quest to learn the modified cars, uh, both the SK and the Tour Modified. And um, we've got ourselves a single split 14 car race here on Monday. Uh, <laughs> well, we're going to try our best. Um, this could be... I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect. This could be a big mess. Um, Their exit but is clear. Stay behind the line. We've been doing lots of practice. At a decent time. Uh, very inconsistent, but I've been able to hit some good laps, but usually uh, the thing I hit the next time around is the wall. Green, green, so green. Okay. Here comes your first well, we're going to try to put it together here. <laughs> and... Uh, See what happens. Hickory is a very strange track. It's really hard to get the feel for it. Pole position. That puts you two quicker than second place. Like that was a, that, that first was sector was like a whole tenth off the next time around. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Sometimes I hit it, hit the corner right. Sometimes I slide through it. Sometimes it's super tight. I'm just trying my best to learn this. And uh, having mixed results, I just kind of got to get used to what the car likes to do and how it reacts to certain things. Uh, so, uh, just got to get the consistency down. Still learning what, uh, trying to get familiar with the car and all that good stuff. I could go for a Hickory Bologna Burger. But Hickory's a tough track. I've only been here a couple of times. Um, as I said, it's it's real hard to get the rhythm down, at least for me. It seems like it's a tough track for a lot of guys. It looks like we're going to get the pole. That's cool. Um, we'll see if that changes. There's still time. But, like I said, I could hit a decent lap once in a while, but then the next lap is like two tenths slower, so... What, what can I even expect? I have no idea. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a little bit. The five's not here. And uh, usually this thing doesn't work. So, unfortunately, we'll have to wait a little bit. And uh, I think, so you don't have to wait the whole time, I will go ahead and let you go. And we'll join back and see where we ended up in qualifying. Alright, we are back and we are getting on the grid. We've been able to hold on to the pole. Um, which is simultaneously exciting and scary, because what am I going to do? Spin out in front of the whole field now? <laughs> Smack the wall? Let's try not to do that. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, get into the car. And we've got 40 You'll laps here. On the inside. Close. 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 Here, Close. session Close. last Close. lap. It's like we're the last one to grid. I didn't wait that long, I swear. It looks like the uh, the crew chief's call is accurate now on the estimated uh, strength of field, because that is what we're, we're about at right now for strength of field, a 1.5k, which, not very high. Uh, <laughs> um, a little a little interesting there. Uh, this is Monday night, and I'm just glad to have a race to race at all, so I want to make that clear. But, uh, man, I'm scared. I really just got to hold on to this thing. The cold tires can be a little bit sketchy early on, so I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try to keep it steady. Hopefully no one makes any uh, crazy aggressive moves on me. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Let's see what happens. We're going green here soon. Okay, we made it through lap one. That behind is right on our tail, though. Steady. Yeah, Alright, got some green on the session last lap. That's a good sign. I think I went a little bit too wide into the final corner, though. 
No, we're okay. We got a good runoff. You've just done a 14.5. He's still hanging on back there. Gonna drive in a little bit harder. Feels like the tires are warming up. Alright, get some more green, I like to see it. Your lap time was 14.3. A little bit slow through there that time. Oh, got loose. Careful now. Don't do too much of that. That lap was at 14.5. Right, better that time. This final corner feels like it's so sharp. It feels like it turns in and then you get a bigger turn in later. Kind of like a lumpy shaped track here at Hickory. Very much a uh, small town short track feel to it. Kind of like they, uh, they just were making it up as they went along <laughs> when uh, doing the layout for this place. Uh, I got very loose. In the middle of the corner there, by the way. I don't think I felt that yet, and my heart skipped a beat. Almost, uh, almost wrecked this thing, so... I'm scared, but we're gonna keep going. See, they're going a tenth faster that lap for some reason through one and two, I guess because I did get loose last time. Push it toward the wall, don't die, please. That was horrible. You just this is so tough, point. man. This place is crazy bumpy, and I think maybe that has a lot to do with uh, how difficult it is to be consistent. Because you hit a bump wrong, and you're uh, mm -hmm. down low. wrong. You potentially got something coming out of the bump around. This one down low, that was scary. Front pitting. Front pitting, so we've we've had some sort of accident. Let's see. Two is still breathing down my neck. I do, I do not need this pressure when I'm learning this car for the first time. But you know what? Maybe I do. Maybe that's exactly the experience I need. Throw me into the deep end. See if I swim. Oh, crap. We uh, almost hit the wall. Inside. That's gonna go on our side there. Inside. Still there, inside. Overdrive it a little Still bit. Inside. Still inside. The next car's the leader. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to it. Without, uh... Still inside. Clear. Not running into the guy. Okay, he gets around us. That's okay. That lap time was I am thrilled to be where I am anyway. Almost hit the wall again. Sometimes it just starts pushing really bad toward that outside wall, and it is not a good feeling. I think we gotta be more patient on throttle out of four. It's gonna really hurt us if we keep. Uh, oh my god! I nearly got it sideways there. One point two back to third. P two. I can probably drive in a little harder. Oh my god, don't Okay, Colton. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. I gotta be really careful though, because there's a kind of a point in the middle of one and two that it really likes to get sideways, so I gotta watch out for that. He got some on the outside. Give him a ton of room. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. It's holding on out there for some reason. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. Make it by. That would cost us some time. It's now about 0.9. Two's getting away. That's fine. He's better. Probably more experienced in this car. 
kind of finding I like to drive in hard to this final corner and take a low exit. Kind of just smoothly roll through one and two. It's kind of the way I'm liking to run it, I think. Didn't I uh, miss my turn in there, though. Does want to get sideways a little bit when I take that low exit, so I gotta watch out for that as well. We're already uh, more than halfway through this thing. These are very short races. We got second place in our very first SK modified race. We are sitting in second place right now. Hey, if that's gonna be a trend, I'm a okay with that. Even though I'm coming close to winning, I mean these are my first races in this car, and I'm finishing second place. That's pretty darn awesome. The eight will go high. Eight going high. Eight has declared high race car and blinking race car. Let me get through. No harm done. What happens if I drive down here? Should I be trying these things middle of the race? It though. Great job, Get to go. <laughs> hey, that's what learning's all about, right? Try some things. He's about a second ahead, and I think generally gaining on us, seems like. Behind us, I think we're good. we got the lap car directly behind us, but then they're about 1.7 back right now, and I think that's been growing, so... Things are looking good for us. Oh, it's getting that loose feeling in 1 and 2 there. we got to watch out for that. Oh boy, the leader's going to have some serious lap traffic to get through here coming up, though. So we'll see what happens there. I don't envy him having to uh, reach that group for the first time, I think, buddy. Everybody's been doing really well, though. Yeah, getting out of the way as I get sideways again. Thank you, Eleven. Yes, sir. He's been very, not very good about... Uh, Given a lane. That's cool. Your last lap time was at fourteen point five. Getting yeah, sideways again. I just. It's a really fine line driving into one and two whether you're gonna. Roll through there alright, or whether you're gonna pitch sideways. I'm just gonna back off here. Don't need to be near these guys. Good race. Good win, too. I didn't really even see right. too many messes. Obviously, uh, we had something happen earlier. Good job. Very good job. It's, uh... I'll take Sorry second place. Sorry whoever I gave that fork too early on. I got shoved up high and... Is the... 13? Come down. I didn't saying something? On the bottom that I drew. Did I do something to him? <laughs> He's revving up, and it seems like a polite rev up. I don't know... What for? <laughs> but, uh... Hi, I guess. 93, 92 were my tires. Interestingly, I got on the right rear. I did not expect that. We'll go back and watch the incidents. Hopefully I didn't, like, cut off the 13 or something by accident. Um, I'm clueless enough out here that maybe I did, but that seemed like a friendly, like, good race kind of rev motor. But, uh, I only took two years of race car speak in high school, so...
Uh, my language comprehension there is a little bit rusty. Anyway, I'm going to turn that down because it's loud for some reason. And let's see what happened out here. So, uh, first thing we see is on lap 11, the speaking of uh, 11, the 11 is going to run into the back of the 8. However, the 8 was blinking a little bit. It could have been that he was blinking and he couldn't see him at the time. That could be a possibility. The 8 is backwards. Thankfully, much thanks to him for waiting. Uh, ooh, that's a little scary. It's driving backwards, but <laughs> it all works out, except for the uh, potential bad pit injury there. That stinks for him, regardless. Uh, 13 into the wall. He had a great run. He's 800 uh, I rating, and he got himself a third place finish as the 13 car. That's an excellent job. He gets uh, Race Lab estimates he'll get about 95 I rating. But I, as the number one car, finish second, and I am estimated to lose one eye rating for not winning this race. <laughs> oh, it's just so unfair sometimes, but who cares? Just thought that was funny. So lap 19, the eight. Is he going to have some trouble again? Nope, just some more blinking. Probably just going to have to skip through his appearances, because probably just going to be some more blinking. The nine. Going to hit the wall on exit pretty hard. I did that so many times in practice. Kind of just gets real tight sometimes. Wants to send you right up there. Yeah, kind of like that. It just stops turning at some point. So, skipping through the eight. And that was it. Very, very clean race. I think the one thing that happened maybe was uh, that one spin that might have just been because of the blinking. The two going to pull himself into victory lane. Yeah, the 13 was just, uh, that was just his way of saying good race. He did it to the two as well. So, good race to him as well. And uh, we'll take P2. Definitely take it. So, um, my start in the SK Modifieds has gone a little bit better than my first race in the Tour Mod. But, <laughs> um, still learning. And, uh... I feel like I learned a little bit here. Hey, look at that. Fastest lap. And we led some. We had the pole. It's a good showing, even if it is by 1568 strength of field. So we do indeed lose one I rating for finishing second, but we have ourselves a clean race and get some more experience. Good win to the two. He earned it. He made the pass clean. Great job to him. And a great run for the 13 as well. Nearly getting that back up to a thousand I rating for him, so... I think that will do it for this one. Some SK Modified at Hickory. Uh, difficult combo. Definitely outside of my comfort zone, but uh, learning it. We're learning it a little bit more uh, every lap. So thank you for joining me for this one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.